I know, look like a junk, y'all, right? Nah, it's about a hundred thousand dollars in legal money. Anyway, yeah, hundred thousand dollars sound good, don't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. but anyway, back to this Tahoe, man. I got a 2007 Tahoe. I did a video on the lifter that collapsed. Turns out it actually worked. The repair. Um, wasn't really a repair. Yeah, it was a repair if you fix it or you adjust it. I don't know. Either way, it worked. At first, it didn't. Okay. The reason I say that it didn't is because I still had the same symptom or it was a tap. And then it was a miss combined. And being me, I need my shit to run perfect because... As you see, I use my truck to go pick up more vehicles. Come here. Come here. Come here. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I showed you that I removed the intake. Got down to the top of the heads where the lifters was, where the access hole. Or I, I'm pretty sure that's why a GM put the holes there because they knew. Because why else would the holes be in that location other than to stick something down there, beat it to free it up? Okay, like I said, at first it didn't work. Last night, I was on my way to Fort Worth, and I had to pick up a truck. It was a tribute, and the price was too good to miss up. Like, I couldn't miss that one up. I had to go get it. And my other truck, getting the transmission put in it, in this expedition, it I had used it as a donor, but it run and everything. It run, but I just took the alternator off to put it on a another expedition that I was going to sell since I'm using this expedition as a personal vehicle somewhat it's like a backup but not really a backup I just I just use it to pick up shit or you know anyway I couldn't miss it so despite having that miss and reluctantly driving my Tahoe which I wasn't going to do I was I was about to replace the engine completely I was about to buy another one because I repaired it or attempted to repair it four or five days ago whenever I posted that video that's when I made the attempt to end the repair and it didn't work so I thought okay so I hooked up the trailer I take off uh, I take off and then the heater hole snapped I knew I knew how the heater hole snapped because while I was under there trying to remove the uh, intake, I kind of like put the heater hose over the transmission uh, dipstick and I guess while driving it, it kind of snapped. I don't know. But anyway, I fixed it in less than five minutes. I just couldn't. You'll see. Uh, fuck that. Back to this Tahoe. Um, while I was, I'm used to having power when I smash the gas, and while it's missing like that, of course it lacks power. It feels like it's running on three cylinders. Maybe it was. I don't know. I couldn't take off the way I'm normally doing under a load, and the, it's a tow dolly. The, to, the the dolly of maybe I don't know, 400, maybe 500 pounds max, but it was still lagging and I didn't like that I'm used to just smashing the gas and that bitch taking off Tahoe baby but it wasn't it was eh, you know and I was like no so I got mad and I stumped on it uh, you know like I was trying to pass somebody and 10 seconds into that smash of the accelerator the check engine light Stop blinking. 
the engine kicked in and sound like it was supposed to sound when you when you smash the gas and it drops the four uh the fourth gear it sound like it was supposed to sound all right i let off the gas mrs gone nah. it's running like it's supposed to the tap is gone i pulled over on the side of the road yeah. just to listen i was like it worked it fucking worked so that's it man uh that's my story of the day now don't buy that engine a lot of people are buying these engines because of the cylinder misfire collapsed lifter because it's recommended the repair on that is like man 1500 bucks and it's not guaranteed that's why people opt out to buy a complete engine because it makes sense you buy the complete engine then you buy the AFM delete that's what I'm about to do matter of fact I already did it I ordered it like two hours ago from Amazon Prime. It should be here tomorrow morning. Anyway, that's what it is, man. Beat whatever cylinder, whatever cylinder is um collapsed, whatever lifter is collapsed, you go in there, tap it. In my opinion, I would tap them all since I'm already in there so they don't collapse again. Just tap them all. You know, it don't take much. And um, zip everything back up. Like I said, why you under there, change the oil filter and sensor since you're already there. Why not? And the gaskets, you know? Save yourself money in the long run. Duh, who wouldn't? And, um, buy that AFM Delete. <clears throat> it's recommended. So, you buy it so it, the computer doesn't tell it to collapse again. Fuck it, man. That's it. Save your Chevy. I did. I was about to get a whole nother engine. But don't do that. Don't do it. At least try the repair at first. You have to go back to the other video and 